Hi folks, I'm Laura tempest Sacron. This is Max, and welcome to the Ritual Workout. Oh, you're so darn cute! So today is going to be a technique day, and our focus is kissing the earth. And what does that mean? Concentrating on how our feet make contact with the earth and how we are stepping. So it's going to be a little bit more of an active day. Uh, depending on what Max lets me do. So uh, let's get started. Take a nice deep breath. And exhale. Deep breath. And exhale. Deep breath. Arms up. Opposite arm, opposite hip, reach towards the ceiling. Shoulders. This is much better than when he was uh, grabbing onto my ankles with five of swords. <laughs> if you missed that one, go back and check it out. Oh, I spoke too soon. Check it out. And let's shift our weight. Push and push. Really stretch and fill it through the sides here. And with this, now let's focus on picking up a foot. So when your weight is on this side, you should be able to pick up this foot. Watch for any meandering kittens at your feet. Yes. Let's do a little bit more on the diagonal, feet on the ground this time, push, and switch, come back to center, relax down, pet the kitten, yes. Back up. Yes. So from here, thinking about <laughs> summoning the kitten. <laughs> Breath. Fire to keep us inspired. Water to keep us flowing, and the earth to be solid and underneath us. So, this is your first time joining in, or a reminder for those of you returning. When we step, I say that we should kiss the earth with our feet, which means that you have toe, ball, and then heel. And as the heel comes down, you're committing your weight fully to that foot. Instead of stepping from heel to toe, heel to toe, which is not great for your body. If you step toe ball heel, toe ball heel, you're easing your weight, being more gentle to the rest of your body. It also allows you to detect when there are things that are soft, furry, sharp, or wet in front of you. 
if you step heel to toe, you're going to smack right into those. So that would be terrible for everyone involved. So from a neutral position right now, our weight is even. I want you to think about stepping forward and stepping back. Step forward and back. Yes, from the side, step forward and back. So as I'm doing this, as I step forward, you'll notice that my other foot right here comes up just a little bit. So I'm not doing this. All right, see, it's terrible for Max. But when I step, step, return. From the other side, with the opposite foot moving. Okay, so that's just with a step forward and return in place. The next thing we're going to do is also a step back. So we're going to step forward, step, step back, step. And so this leg here is just keeping time in place. Again, avoiding that stomp, stomp, right? You want to really make sure that you're picking that steady foot up to keep pace. Yes. And let's switch the opposite foot forward. Hook to four or Kashamar step that one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Pretty simple, basic. It's a little march, but it really holds the key to being able to keep pace with something, to be in time, to be in rhythm. Because if you're doing this, you're missing the in between, right? It looks like you're also stepping on a cockroach or something like that, which is not great. And you can add a little hip push. Oh yes, kitten. Now, another variation we can do is if we're up on the balls of our feet up here, and we have a flat foot. So if we go from ball, flat. And I'm still doing toe ball heel, so I'm not bonk, probably through that, right? Still soft. Switch. If you want to get really tricky, you can switch back and forth a little faster. There you go. Okay, back to center. Breathe. And basic walk. And of course, you can do just this little lift. Stomping, I'm almost using it as a way to push off gently, taking up that energy from the ground. Switch. And I 
And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. This is a good one to keep working with and to think about it all day long as you're moving around. Think about the different ways you can start moving your feet. They're a little bit different than your just standard walking around kind of thing. So hope you enjoyed this. I'll see you tomorrow. Be sure to subscribe.